All right, so when I got into here, because we've been having issues with this thing not firing off, and it's giving me a low, a min T, which is the temperature's not up high enough. I actually was able to get into there and look, and here are, these were the instructions. And so like this one makes sense, RPM S2. It was at eight, so I'm thinking that maybe it was actually blowing it out. If I'm going by this, okay, so it was at eight. I brought it down to two, then I brought it back up to three, and it fired off really good. There is an RPM B, which was at 16. I dropped it down to 10. Now, there is nothing on this set of instructions for what RPM B means. There's also not instructions for heat. It has heat, and this can go up to plus 9 or minus 9. So I'm not sure what these three things on here. There's no uh, glow plug, so this one is not there. But there is the uh, adjustment of the null compensation with the, the temperature, which was off by a degree, but not a big deal. And then, so I had gone through last night, and I did all these changes on here because I figured out if I hold a set down and plug it in to get power to the turbine then it would go into this set of menus but so I did it and all that stuff and it said well just hold down the button until it saves but in all reality I have to turn on the transmitter then turn on uh the safety switch to the on, but with it set to idle before you fire it up. So then once it's at that point, then you can press the set button and it actually will show saved to memory. Because this is what it's trying to say. Save all your settings by holding down the set key in EDT until the message comes up. Well, that doesn't work. You gotta set all your stuff without the radio on. Then you gotta turn the radio on, turn the turbine on, then push the set button and then it goes. So, and we got a good fire off of the last one. So I'm gonna give it time to just sit and uh, I'll refuel it and we'll give it another test and see how well it does in a, in a little while. All right, so here we go. It's been 24 hours since I did this last test yesterday. Uh, the RPM S is at three. The RPM B is at 10, and the heat is at plus 4S, which I mean. Problem is, is I don't know what these menus are, but it worked good yesterday on the last test. So we're gonna see if this works again. So a bit of a hot start, saw a little bit of flame shooting out, even though I had turned, I had, I remember to turn on the gas. <laughs> About 10 seconds into flying it, so we'll do another start after it cools off for a while and uh, we'll see if it's still a better flight than most. Yeah. So we're going to try this again, it's been a couple hours. So I'll have to go in there and figure out which one I need to adjust to get it to not have so much fuel. Who knows what that is? <laughs> you gotta keep the set button pushed 
and plug it in. Well, I don't have a switch, so I made up this cool little spot here to actually push the button whilst I plug it in so I can look at the things. RPMS is three. Oh, I need to look at what those actually meant. RPMS is at three. I had it at two. Actually, it started at eight. And I actually thought it might have been over spinning it and blowing it out. So I don't think that's my issue. So my RPMB is now at 10. And then my heat is at plus four to my RPMB. And let's drop that down to say six. Don't know why six. Just know that I need to do that. So that's the only thing I'm going to change. So, and I'm going to write it down here. I'm going to go that. And now I'm at six. And we'll see if that keeps it from flaming out the back so much. So now I have to turn on my system. And then I push set. Oh, I need to turn it on. Switch on. And then memory set the savings. So there we go. Switch on. I got it on. The fuel valve is on. And let's see if changing it from 10 to 6 on the RPMB, if that will actually make a difference or not in how far out this flame shoots. <laughs> Light RPM. Oh, not nearly as bad. Well, let's see if it'll actually fire up. There it goes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Boy, a lot less flame. Way better. Accelerated quite nicely. There we go. All right. That worked out much better. Didn't have nearly the amount of flame coming out. All right, so this time I've upped the RPMS to four, which would be 4,000 RPM. Maybe get a little bit more air flowing in there. I didn't check the exhaust gas temperature maximum on the previous runs, but this one had a 708, so that was a little bit too hot. Turn that on. on. And push set. Okay. Flight RPM. See what this does. A little more flame. Not enough to wad a shotgun though. Oh, that fire, that fell right off the bat. Bad P. So yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with that one. Auxiliary gas, propane, not igniting, but that's, I don't have that. <laughs> Maybe I need to change that back up to six and see where it goes from there unplug turn this back on plug it back in that's off that's off so i looked at the exhaust gas and it's at 739 degrees that's worse than what it was before that's not good either hmm now I went down to two on here because I'm getting a really hot exhaust gas temp on this thing. And I'm not sure why, but I don't want that. Still got a good flame coming out of there. 340 for an idle. Let's see what the exhaust cast temp was on that. I imagine it's pretty high because the damn thing's fucking shooting flames out. 692. So it went down. So this time I'm gonna leave it to. I'm gonna up this back to four. Maybe put some more speed in it and see what that does. Upping the RPMS to four. And let's see what the EGT max was. 367, 580. So that's a lot better, but it's still way too fucking hot. 
Let's up this to five and give it another shot. All right, we're going to five. Receive a bound. We'll see how that does with the EGT. Flight RPM. Oh, having a little bit of a hard time there. Mm, no. Not going to do it with five. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nope. Not going to do it with five. And then with that failure, it got a little late, and I don't want to disturb the neighbors because that thing is so loud. <laughs> but uh, we'll try to get those EGTs down and get it running good without a manual. <laughs>